Hi there, Barry Longton here again. Today I'm going to show you how to set up the Cyberlink UCAM5 program to record video and audio for your students, and also how to upload it to OneDrive and to Microsoft Classroom in Office 365. So first to access this, the UCAM software, you have to go to the Windows button in the bottom left hand corner of your screen, go to All Apps, and then under Communication and Chat, you'll find Cyberlink UCAM5. Now this program works really well with streams. It, uses, it utilizes the webcam and the microphone like you can see right now on the screen. So first thing we need to do is we need to set up where it's saving uh, the file to. So let's go ahead and click on the settings button. It's right here, it's this little gear next to the eyeball on the left hand side of the window. So over here on the right hand side, you'll see that um, we have an option to go to the capture and snapshot settings. Let's do that first. And notice that the capture folder is uh, a local folder on my hard drive on my computer. Now that works fine for regular laptops, but since if you're using HP streams with your students, it's probably not a good idea to do that. So I would recommend changing this folder to where it's saving pictures and snapshots. So if you click on the little uh, three dots there, you'll wanna navigate Notice I'm in documents right now. You'll want to scroll down and you'll probably find a student folder, a student server folder. I don't have one, but you'll have it underneath that local disk right here if you scroll down a little ways. Go ahead and have your students um, open up that local or the, the student server folder and then create a folder inside of there, whatever your teacher wants you to do. So I would recommend saving all of your files there. Once you're done, click OK and all of your re recordings will save to that spot. Also, another thing to do, the capture format. WMV, it says the, the default, it doesn't work that great. So you're gonna wanna choose MP4 instead. So click on that to make sure that you're capturing in this MP4 file format. That will work the best for when you're uploading it or viewing it as a video file. Okay, the rest of the stuff looks fine. So let's go back to the camera settings. You'll wanna make sure you have the capture device set up. Make sure it's the, the, the camera on your computer. Usually there's only one option, but make sure that's set. The capture resolution is fine, and then the audio device, you can change that, but it should be the internal microphone that you use for your, your laptop. I also recommend unchecking the flip horizontally like this. It looks kind of goofy. All the text is backwards if you don't, so I'll do that one, but leave the rest alone. All right, so once you have that set up, click OK. I'm not going to go through how UCAM works in terms of like recording things and how the effects work, but just know that when you want to record something, click on the little record icon right here, capture webcam video, do that. And then once you do that, it will record some audio right now, as you can see, and video. So when you're all done, go ahead and push stop. And it will save automatically for you. So you see I have one right down here, but I have one I recorded earlier too. So you can use uh, whatever you have. If you don't like what you have, say it's not working for you or you messed up, you can just click the little delete icon right here. And it'll ask you if you want to delete it and you'll say yes. Okay, that looks good. So say we have the video that we want and we captured it, we're good to go. So what we're gonna do now is I'm going to minimize UCAM. I'm gonna log into my Office 365 account. So you go to login.microsoftonline.com. What we're going to do next is we are going to upload that video that we created into OneDrive. That's the best place to host it because then you can use that within any other program, say for example, Microsoft Classroom or OneNote or Class Notebook as well. So now we're in Office 365. I'm going to open up OneDrive, the cloud icon. So that's over on my far right. It might be different for you. Click on that. So within OneDrive, we can upload files from the computer. So for the streams, um, it will, it's not as big a deal if you're saving it to the server folder because that's not using up any of the memory that you have on your computer.
So up here on this top bar, it's going to have the upload icon. So once this gets kind of loaded, I will click on that in just a moment. There we go. So if you click on upload, you notice you can do a couple of different options. You can do either files or a folder. Now, if you've got a whole folder of stuff that you want to upload to OneDrive, you can certainly do that. But in our case, we're just doing one file. So I'll click the first option. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to navigate. Um, notice that I've got all of this stuff here. I've, you know, Notice I have my OneDrive for Business already installed on my computer. That won't be the case for your stream. So you want to navigate to your server folder. Remember, that's down underneath this PC. And it's going to be some folder located underneath the local disk. It'll probably say local, or local student uh, storage, something to that effect. So what you'll do is you'll navigate to that folder down here, and you will find the video file that you want to upload. So in my case, um, I have a set default for the documents, so I'm going to click on documents. And if you forget to set to it, you go to you can go to documents, which is either underneath quick access or it will be down here underneath this PC documents. And there's a UCAM folder. That's the default one if you didn't change it. So if you open that folder up, notice I've got the two files that I have saved. So if I click on this one, it's actually probably a good idea to rename this too, to something useful. So for example, I can say this is my UCAM tutorial video. Name it something for like your assignment, for example. Now notice it said I couldn't do it because I'm in UCAM. All I have to do is just close out of UCAM and I can rename it. So go ahead and click on open once you rename it. And what it will do now is it will upload it into a folder. So it might be beneficial to is, uh, make a folder in here as well that will mimic what you're going to be putting all of your files into for your class. So if you make a new folder for your class, whatever it's called, that would be a good idea as well. You can do that by going to new and then clicking on folder. Should pop up here in a second. There we go. So folder, you can choose that and you can rename that to something for your class. You could even do UCAM videos if you wished. All right, so now that you have your file uploaded, you can go to Microsoft Office Home. You can go to the Classroom now. If you're using Classroom, you can do something similar, similarly with OneNote if you're using that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how you can access your OneDrive files in Classroom to add them as attachments to your assignments within uh, from OneDrive. So I'll go to a class where I'm a student. I'll go to one of my assignments that I can submit files to. So under my work, you'll be able to add existing files. So notice that there's these two options here, add existing and create new. Create new lets you make a new um, Microsoft Office 365 document. Add existing lets you, do, you add whatever you want to. And you'll notice there are some options here. I can choose from like my device or my OneDrive or even from other classes if I want to. So I'm gonna choose my OneDrive. This will bring up another window that allows me to navigate my folder. Notice the file that I have here is the one I re that, I was, um, that I recorded earlier. So if I click on that, the little checkbox that says I'm selecting that, I can click attach. And now notice I have that file saved and added to my work in Microsoft Classroom. Okay, that's all I wanted to show you today. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks, bye.